Hi, I'm Bukhar here with SmartQ and today I'll be walking through how to create numerous posts from the same piece of content with very little effort. This is a great technique that you can use in order to make sure your evergreen content or the content that keeps on recycling without you needing to lift a finger stays fresh for longer. This also makes sure that your audience doesn't get content fatigue, you're always posting something slightly new and exciting, and it's also a great way to A-B test different captions, call to actions, concepts, images, or anything you like. Let's get started by clicking on create a post in the top left corner. This opens the post editor where we can then go ahead and choose the category inspiration and a social profile. I'll paste in some text here just to get started as a base and you'll see the preview update on the right hand side. What I'm going to do next is go ahead and add the text variation. When I do that you'll see a second text box appear here where I can add a little bit of a tweak. So comment below what your goals are for this week. Now we've got two different variations and on the right hand side you'll see that reflective in the preview where you can toggle between the two different posts. Make sure Evergreen is toggled on to recycle after posting. What this means is when our post goes out for the very first time it's going to post with variation number one. The next time our post comes around inside of our queue once all other content has been published it will go out with variation number two with the slightly tweaked call to action. So this means that our content will stay fresher, for longer, your audience will see the same message but slightly tweaked each time it goes out. And every time this post is recycled, it will alternate between the two posts. We can add in even more text variations, adding as many as you like just with this add text variation button here. Let's go ahead and add another tweak. What are your goals for today? And as you can see, we've got the same message going on. A simple text, a call to action, and a question. So now we have three different variations that we can toggle through on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and add even more variations with very little effort by adding in media. Click on the camera icon to start adding media. There are several different ways to add in media, including searching your own media library inside of SmartIQ from posts that you've already published. You can search for anything on the web. You can design with Canva, upload from your computer and so on and so forth. I'll go ahead and search for an image using SmartIQ's integration with Pixabay, Giphy, and Unsplash, which are completely free to use and contain high-level professional images. I'll search for an eagle and choose this nice image here and add that into my post. So you'll now see our preview update here. Now we've got all three of our different text options with this image. Let's go ahead and add in another image so you can see just how many variations we can create by adding just one more image. Let's search for another eagle to go with the theme of our post and we can choose this one here. Ensure that very media is toggled on, otherwise you'll be posting a multi-image post. So you'll be posting text with several different images. What we want to do is actually vary the image that goes out every time so you want to make sure this setting is switched on. Now we can see that we have six variations as SmartIQ is pairing all three of our text options with each image. So it's doing text one with image one, then text two with image two, and then text three with image one again. And that's how we end up with six unique posts, all with the same sort of messaging but delivered in a different way. Slightly tweaked images, slightly tweaked call to actions, and all of our different captions here. This is a really cool and easy method in order to create loads of different posts with very little effort. All we did is just add some slight tweaks into our main message here and then search for some free images inside of SmartIQ's integrations. So we have created six different variations and now when this post recycles with Evergreen Recycling, it will post through all of these different options each time. Let's go ahead and add this into our queue. I'll save this to the top of the queue and then we can check out where this ends up. So here we are and as predicted, our post has been added to the top of the queue for our inspiration category. And we can see that variation 1 out of 6 is going out next. Once the post goes out, it will be added to the bottom of the queue with variation number 2 and will make its way to the top once all other content has been published. It will continue to do that for all 6 variations and then go back to variation number 1 once again. So your content will stay fresh. The other great thing that you can use this feature for is to A-B test. So if you want to see which image does better, this image of a bird or a personal image, or what call of action does better, click here or come to my webinar. You can test these different things with variations and then you can check out your past post analytics in order to see which post performed best. In order to access analytics, all you want to do is click on past post here. 
If we wanted to get a feel for how those variations did, then we can go ahead and click on those three dots here for more actions and then view stats per cycle. So inside of stats per cycle, we can see a breakdown of how the particular content did over each specific variation. For variation number one of six, we can see that this post had 10 likes, it was shared twice, received four comments, and at the same time, this account had 110 followers. On variation number two, so the second time this post went out, it got 12 likes, one share, four comments, and we jumped by 10 followers, so we had 120 total followers. On the third variation, it got eight likes, one share, and eight comments, so this variation stands out in terms of engagement. And not only that, but we also jumped to 130 followers, so over 10 new followers from this specific variation. So if you were A-B testing your content, you want to see what worked well, this would be the way to go. That way, moving forward, you can either create more content like that, or if you were testing a specific call to action, keep using that one call to action that did particularly well and improve your strategy from there. So there you have it, getting started with variations and creating numerous posts from the same type of content, then checking your stats to improve your strategy.